There he is. Awake and welcome. Late but great. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. Hey guys, how's it going, man? Uh, so, Quinn, could you tell us a little bit more about this uh, legal bud that's becoming available next week? Okay, so um, legal bud is, is, as you guys have uh, mentioned, it's hemp. Okay, we have, we, we have three different strains. There's uh, ACDC, which you guys have got, which is considered sort of uh, the, the more sativa in the, in the group. Uh, there's uh, cherry bubblegum and there's uh, spectrum. As well, which uh, the cherry bubble gum is, is your sort of uh, hybrid, if you want to call it that, and your your um, the spectrum is, is 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 the more body locking one, and you're gonna get you're gonna feel it after you smoke, uh, used it, ingested it, however you want to use it. Um, I just want to actually answer a couple of questions because you guys were yeah yeah going for it. We were asking a bit early on yeah. because and, and I was watching the show so. Um, Shaul, yes, there is actually something that is going to go along with the bud. Uh, there, there, there is a little insert that goes along in the packaging. Great. Um, so we've already thought of that. That's, that's, it is what it is. Um, Dan, we actually also thought of what happens if the, the, the package is open, what, you know, what's going to happen because people can put other stuff in. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about that. It actually gets sealed. And on the notes inside, it says, please note that, that, that this package was sealed. Once it has been opened, we hold no responsibility for what's inside. And then they can waste their time with So the they rentals. have to go back to their, per, their private dwelling, basically, and use it only in their private space. To buy it, go home. Yeah. But you can't smoke this in public, can you? You can't smoke any kind of... I didn't hear what you said, Sean. Can you smoke this hemp uh, flower in public? You can't. You see, that's one of the things that we've been sort of just... Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mind boggles. Arguing about because I, I, I was standing around yesterday and I was going, hold on, hold on a second. There, there's no <laughs> THC. No, okay. It's not beauties um, and, 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 and cherry tobacco. It is legal and, 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 and we start going through all these things. So um, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know just yet. We... we we have asked the sort of legal minds to, to, to apply themselves to that. And, um, sorry, guys, I haven't heard back yet. I don't so think you should that's do one it. of the things that I went and asked about, yeah. I would imagine that it would be the same as THC, but because it's, it's, it's still cannabis and you can't smoke cannabis in a public space. Well, that's what the, I mean. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, were yeah, you, did honestly, you, I mean, I have you got have you got test results on this saying there is no ca THC inside it, or is that just you know? I mean, have you got have you tested the bud? Well, well, you know, look, I think trace elements of THC is always going to be found in a in a hemp plant. So, you know, it's let's let's just be mindful. Hello, everybody. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Quinn, you changed so yeah. fast. <laughs> So guys, this is the, this anyway. is the, the, the license holder, the, the, the man who grew this uh, this weed. Can I introduce him, please? I don't even know his name. Kevin. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome. Uh, Kevin so Cook what is this license? Sorry, Buzz. Okay. What is the license that you have? What The license, what is it for? So, so, let's, so I think let's, let's, look at, let's look at it like this, right? We're in an ever-growing industry. And hello, everybody, and thanks for letting me come onto the show. So I appreciate that. Let's, let's just take a step back and look at this ever-evolving industry that we're in at the moment, right? And what is it that we have? We have hemp. Does hemp contain tetrahydrocannabinoid? Yeah, of course it does. What percentage does it have? Well, it has the percentage that's within the legal limits of what we understand that the law this country is trying to implement, which they themselves don't know them, uh, to, to, to be actually fair. So, yes, there's trace elements. Hmm. If you look at um, CBD and you take CBD full spectrum and in an oil, there's going to be trace elements of THC. It's going to be below the, 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 the limits, but there's going to be trace elements. So if to say no, 0% THC, I'd be lying. No, there's, there's trace elements of THC for sure. Of course. It, would, it, it wouldn't be a proper cannabis plant if it wasn't. How much CBD is there? Exactly, right? <laughs> the, 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 whole, the whole purpose is, you know, we, we, what we're trying to do and trying to achieve 
and, and myself and Quinn, we're really out there searching for the best, stimulating the market, creating the market and taking biomass in the form of hemp and giving the consumer the option whether they want to put it in their pipe, they want to put it on their salad, they, they, whatever they want to do with it, the choice is theirs. It's, it's, it's really what it is. And if some people opt to smoke it, they can smoke it, you know. It's, you know, it's not going to get you high. I mean, I don't think I've seen anybody that's in, in, in intoxicated themselves uh, 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 with THC, then go and smoke CBD. I don't see anybody. I mean, people coming off the THC going, wow, I'm feeling better. I don't see people getting high from CBD. Mm. Unless I'm... No, no, you don't. Wrong. Yeah, no. Why? <laughs> That's I'm, a nice body relax, I'm, though. How much CBD is in the bud, though? So we're probably looking at about 7 or 8%. You know, it's not a really high amount of, of CBD inside there. So, you, you know, if you're looking at it from that perspective, it's, it's actually, you know, quite low for now. But again, it's all about testing the market. Is the market ready for it? When will the market be ready for it? And what well, other cannabinoids <clears throat> sort of really showed up on the profile on the testing? <sighs> So there's, there's CBM, uh, there's, uh, there's quite a few of the CBDAs, uh, so we've got CBG, oh, CBG is no. actually quite, um, That's a big one. Up quite nasty on the strength, so we're probably looking at about maybe 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5 of a percent of CBG. That's brilliant. CBN, so CBN's in there, there's CBC inside there. There's, uh, yeah, there's uh, I think there is definitely probably the THCA, mm -hmm. the acid, you know, more than the Delta 9 is, is going to be featured there from a trace <laughs> element perspective. So there's, there's, it's not just CBD that's inside there, you know, it's a collective of majority of those cannabis. It's a nice full spectrum. And one yeah. can legally buy this on your website. Quinn, I think that's a question to you, not to me. I don't have any <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, you can order online. You can come into store. Um, we're uh, we just kind of closed a couple of uh, um, affiliate stores, so it's it's not going to only be available in Joburg and Pretoria. <coughs> Sorry, I hit a big dab while while Kim was talking. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, and it's actually, um, it's actually CBD crystal. Okay. Uh, Kevin knows about it. He can tell you about that. Very cool stuff. So, um, we, we've got some affiliate stores. There's, uh, an affiliate store in Cape Town. Uh, one of the cannabis community has, uh, um, gladly accepted to become an affiliate of ours and, and the bud will be available there. Uh, there's one in Rustenburg and, um, this morning, I probably closed the, the guys in Durban, and it's possibly going to be in the Gateway Mall. Wow. Nice. All right, and you've got your Thanks. ducks in a row. You're ready for when the police walk in the door? What are you going to say to them? Yeah, as the mother of one of your employees, please assure me on what's going to happen if the cops rock up. <clears throat> well, I, I think the first thing that I'm going to tell them to do is fuck off, because everything is legal. Okay. Um, there, there is no reason for them actually to be there at all. Okay. Um, we, we, we have a product that is, guys, for lack of a better term, and I, I think what a lot of people have, have got to get into their minds is this is how, as Kevin said, we're, we're, we're testing the market. And, and we need to see what, what everybody's response is. So far, the the law enforcement people that we have spoken to are happy. No, well, there as isn't really anything can, to care about. Can produce, yeah, as long as we can produce test certificates when they ask for them, <laughs> which is no problem, and, 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 and give them, if, if they walk in, all that we have to do is go, hi, thanks for coming by, here's your sample, and here's the test certificate, and they have nothing more to say. Because oh, so you're ready. Well, right that's good. Now, that's the way to do it. You're pushing boundaries. It's, he's at least pushing boundaries and, and, and you know, stepping out to see yeah, how I, I'd love to chat with you again in about a month and we can see how it's going, yeah? 
I think, I, you know, guys, we, we don't mind. I mean, it's... Because right I, now I you don't really know what the reaction is going to be, what, what people are going to say because you haven't really started. When are you going to open? Wednesday. Okay, so the 21st of October, it's uh, next week, Wednesday, um, is, is the day that we go live. Um, it's, 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 it's actually... A, we were going to go sort of uh, closer to the end of the month, but... Um, Anthony and his TNHA uh, a little uh, lawsuit sort of put a bit of fire under our Speed arse. wobble, yeah. And, yeah. and we got excited. Um, but yeah, well, that's yeah, right. I mean, the 21st. you got to give it to, you got to give it to uh, Anthony and the guys yeah. from TNHA. They're doing a great job. I mean, you've got to respect what they're doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Guys, any last questions? Anything left mm. on the table? I want to know what you have to say to all the critics because there are know, many. There are many, so address them now. What is what is the difference between hemp and cannabis? What, what, how how do those plants there classify as hemp plants and not cannabis, which is illegal to sell? It differs from country to country. You can take cannabis well, from one country to the next, and then it becomes hemp sativa. suddenly. It's, just it's like sativa. magic. Oh. Quinn, is that a is that a true Quinn? I mean, they ask yeah. you that question, so <laughs> I know the answer. I mean, I know. I mean, one if, if you look at it, I mean, it's the difference between the one gonna get you hard, one's not gonna get you hard. You know, it's as it's, it's, it's as simple as that. I mean, THC or marijuana, MJ, flower, bud. You know, we know what that does to our receptors, right? And how it gives us a psychoactive feeling, and some gives, some sometimes gives us therapeutic. Hemp is is the silent, the silent cousin or brother or sister. Everyone, I look at it, that just goes in there, operates, does what it needs to do. <laughs> nice dog, yeah, Quinn. Does what it needs to do. <laughs> <laughs> bow wow wow you be oh you be yeah but it, it does it does what it needs to do and it, and and i mean someone like me i suffer with a dreaded disease i've got chronic arthritis i know my body needs to have cbd in the form of uh, uh, capsules oils and i and i know my body needs thc well, That's what i can't think of a single person on this planet that would decide that they're going to smoke this hemp and then do it and then after that not not say I am now 100% ready to try full THC weed. Everybody's going to want to try the real thing after that. I mean, how close can you get to trying the real thing without trying the real thing? Maybe hemp's the gateway drug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, CBD is that. the gateway to THC. Either I can open it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Try it. Why don't but you it does, try it? it maybe you smoking it. cigarettes. Tansari will get used to walking past the shop and seeing some bud in the window and she's not going to freak out. She's going to, it's going to become normalized and then she won't even notice when it's THC. Uh, maybe there is, maybe there is a market for weed light, you know, when it's dank, <laughs> but you can smoke it during <laughs> office hours. Yeah, it's it's, so it, it's always going to be funny. <laughs> well, when you buy a box again, like this, when you buy a box like this, it's hemp THC. Well, hemp, sorry, it's hemp cigarettes. Oh, We're supplying the product as biomass to test market readiness, not really for you to actually go and start cranking it, right? Yeah. We, it's, it's, you know, it's the biomass. You're going to use it to press to make your oils. You can use it to, you know, to cook with. You know, that's really, it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful plant. So, yes, okay, well, yes, we're talking about smoking it, but some people will choose to smoke it. But it's not really our intention for people to go out there and smoke it. It's our intention for people to take it and press it and start stimulating the market and start growing the industry so local companies and local uh, uh, communities can start benefiting from the plant, you know, where it's not so heavily regulated in the manner in which it is it, it today. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's a cousin, marijuana. You know, it's there. It's, it's, it's regulated. It's governed. It's controlled. But the cousin, him, he's sitting back there saying, well, I can make toilet paper, I can make plastic, I can make food, I can do this, I can do... And we're sitting back and we say, well, can we not give the guy a chance? Yeah. We didn't pay the road the for us, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so the question of... Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, anything you can think of, him can do. Cannabis can do it. Mm. Can do it. Cannabis, do can, do me. Can. Cannabis can do it. 
You know, if, if, I mean, we, we've made we've made uh, feed for cattle. We've made uh, um, uh, through the through the hay and through the silos and mixing it. We've made sheep pellets. We've made stuff for chickens. We've made hemp water. We make oils. We make creams. We even make suppositories to stick it up there for the guys that are a little bit too clever, you know, just to plug it up there. Mm -hmm. So the big data. Hemp caters for everything. Marijuana caters for everything, but in a controlled environment. Hemp's restricted. The more we let it go, and the more we start opening ourselves to the market, the better it's going to be for everybody. But the government holds us back. Sorry, a little vent there from me. But, Thank you. you know, yeah. <laughs> no, government no, no is a big hold up. I want to just ask a question regarding the... So you guys say you're growing it um, outdoors, right? In tunnels outdoors and in large open spaces so we do we we, we grow the hemp in, in, uh, very similar to how we grow uh, tomatoes and uh, but we also do large open fields under pivots and okay. you're probably thinking Phew, cannabis under pivot wow this is hemp it's, no that's fine you so can do that okay so you, of course you can do that it's, it's it's been grown in fields for years so now what i'm going to say is if that's uh, if that's how it's been grown would this then be an opportunity for say the very rural area sectors to get into growing hemp and then doing the same sort of thing for them to, you know, benefit all Well, well 100%. So, so what, 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 I've been, what I've been doing is I've been going out into those areas. I've been finding farmers across the country and saying to them, listen, you've got a farm, you've got a skill, I've got a seed. Let me plant my seed with you. Let me help you. Let me teach you. Let me show you what I've learned from the West. Bring it to Africa. Bring it to the guys. Learn to become the best. Spread the love and grow the economy. That's the only way we're all going to make money and we're all going to sustain our lives and we're all going to be able to benefit from it. It's by planting in the ground. It's going out there and doing it. Mm. So I'll tell you what. You know, I'm, I'm someone that sticks to my word and I do it. I will give out 50,000 seeds. Right? to the rural communities across the country so that they can start growing here. You know, as, as just to show the world and to show everyone that we're serious. We want people to grow. We want them to benefit from it. I myself personally, the more we can feed the nation, the less they will be hungry. The, 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 the more food they have in their stomach, they're not going to rob and pull fridge and cause problems. So, you know, three, you three, hot days, three hot days in your hemp field and you suddenly have cannabis. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. Yeah. The Oops, side. we didn't see it was going to be so warm. Sorry. But that's okay. But <laughs> I love I love <laughs> this. I absolutely am so growing communities and helping communities. That's exactly what cannabis is all about. Whether that is cannabis right. slash hemp or cannabis slash indoor craft cannabis, fucking 200 rand gram. Whatever. Are, are the sites set on moving over to two or integrating at least growing THC and pushing very hard for the THC growth? Because obviously we know that the full plant with THC and CBD is a much more powerful medicine, but due to regulation, where you are guys regulated to or, or limited to what yeah. you're doing now. Are you going to push harder to the THC side and lobby on that side more mm -hmm. also? Look, from my, from my point of view, as what we're doing as a, as a business, we're not just focused here in South Africa. So we've got reaches in sub-Saharan Africa, in Mozambique. We're operating suits in Malawi and in areas like Ghana. In South Africa, as much as we'd love to push to get those, those facilities up and running and moving and, and, and gunning for THC, I think the, the, the restrictions on the licensing and the, sh the, the infrastructure costs prevent people's entry into the market. So the barrier to entry is very high. And, and I think that needs to change. I think we need to look at that crafted commercial farmer, start adopting things like the Spanish model and start having these membership clubs and start endorsing grows and start really coming together as a community and building it. Because that, I think, is what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to show government that, you know what, while you're still trying to figure out what to wear today, we're going out there and we're creating jobs. We're going out there and we, 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 we're doing it within the confines of the law. We're creating memberships. We're advising people. We're doing educational lessons. And by doing that, 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 that market will slowly and naturally start growing. I mean, if you compare up to the U.S. markets, and you look at how the, United, the U.S. markets were many years ago, they were all over the place, and they still are today. 
people are still operating, they're still making money, and they're still expanding. So for me, there definitely needs to be segmentation. You need to have your small craft scale uh, THC farmers that want to do it for the craft worlds and for the private memberships. And that will naturally start growing into the bigger commercial lines. So I'm all for it. I'll push both. I love both of them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're brothers, they're sisters, they're cousins, whatever. Cousins. cousins. <laughs> Indeed. Siamese twins. Kevin, thank you very much for joining this evening. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> stay lit. Quinn, see you soon. Stay lit, dude. Thanks thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Peace. Cheers. Cheers. Sure. Guys, it's a hot topic. It's so, it's so confusing. I love how it's going to confuse the lawmakers. <laughs> At least for that. <laughs> <you know. laughs> I love it. It's, you know, it's really cool they're going to make... They're going to confuse the cops out yeah, of their mind. They're not no, going to make... Can you not smoke it or call it you? Um, I don't know anymore. I give up. What, what happens when it looks like that dog, bro? What happens when the imp looks like the dog? <laughs> well, that's right? it. I mean, you know, they did say they're going to put it into nice packaging and they're going to go the whole route where we've seen overseas where it's going to be in a bag that's sealed, sealed, double sealed. You know where it's like a sealed bag where you can't see anything inside it? You go home and you can open it. Mm. If but, you... Yeah, no, if you're still, if you're still like. listening, use recyclable stuff. I think it needs to be important in the industry. Yeah. So, I think it's going to have to... So, something that keeps coming up. Even in my chat today, Oak's DMing me. Hey, Buzz, what's the story about this, bud? Hey, hey Buzz, yeah. what's the story about this, him, bud? Hey? So, the deal is, go check them out. If you want the answer, ask them. Uh, everyone's saying, can we see the license in that? I would expect that if you're going to buy it from them, if there's no license, like when you go to the halal... And it's got the halal certificate on the wall. Something that you can see that's legit. And take a photo if you have to. But get something that says this is legit. Because if you get bust, I think you should have that's the number. Well, there needs to be a number. Be something in the packaging as well. Yeah. A certificate yeah. of acceptance. Even on the outside, people. there needs to be like yeah. a... Uh, like with, you know, it needs to have that official South African Home Affairs stamp almost the word, like a <laughs> stamp. <laughs> it has to have that like a, like an old bloody Kutukutu <laughs> stamp. <laughs> no, we're we're going to need a separate join the queue for CBD. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, obviously a lot of people want to see, they, they're like they saying, they want to see the test results uh, on the actual batch of every bud that comes through. So, so guys, <laughs> shall, in honor of a dear friend of ours, we shall call that one CBD may know. <laughs> CB, CBD may know. Eh? <laughs> oh, guys. So, guys, go ask them for the certificate. They're launching this thing next week. This is all hot off the press stuff. Eh? Go check it out. Go ask them. We're going to ask them with you. You know, I'm also going to go around and want to buy a, a, a gram or two of this hemp and ask them when's the hemp going to look like the dog and all that. But for now, I really want to remember that. We all get so frustrated because we've all been in this so long that when there is something happens, we can all be a bit quick to react. Mm. But this is the first time we're going through all of this. And we're still at the beginning of our story with mm. cannabis in South Africa, you know? So... Remember how we reacted we, when CBD first started popping its head up? Hey? We've <laughs> grown already from there. We have. I think it's a bit weird because the rest of the world kind of started with THC, right? Yeah, they were allowed to use full plant like in the States and stuff. It was different. The, the way that it was progressing through the law is different as yeah, to how we go. Yeah, even our way of legalization is completely different. That's what I'm saying. The way so of legalization, yeah. how we go progressing through the steps is different. How we're we beating our own so we, so we this don't know what it's <coughs> What I'm saying is we don't know how it's going to be. And we look good. at examples from the rest around the world, and maybe it isn't the best way to look, but I'm not sure. But, but we can say that it's going to eventually happen. It's going to crash. Yeah, this Saturday there's a referendum in New Zealand for cannabis, <coughs> and if it all goes well, it'll be the third... Uh, country to legalize cannabis in the world. Well, that's. Uh